news. Counter-terror police in the UK are urging Muslim women to tell them if their male relatives are planning to travel to Syria to fight. Some 400 men have left Britain to take part in the civil war there. It's thought 20 have been killed, the youngest was just 18. There's still no update on the fate of 200 schoolgirls abducted by the militant group Boko Haram over a week ago in northern Nigeria. Their parents have been told to pray. The two political factions within Palestine, Hamas and Fatah, have signed an agreement that could see them form a unity government. The decision has been heavily criticised by Israel. Now, do bankers' bonuses make you angry? Well, Barclays are planning to increase the payout for their staff. That is despite a fall in profits. There are protests outside and inside the annual general meeting today. If the Conservatives win the next general election, they say they'll scrap subsidies for onshore wind farms. Instead, the money will go toward other renewable technologies. And speaking of wind, a huge sandstorm has hit northwest China, turning day into night and bringing down trees and power lines. And that's all your news. I'll see you again soon.